Hey everybody, what's going on? Superman Ryan here. We are back with some more Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing. And we've got some more cool stuff here, boys and girls. So let's see what we got. So, if you don't know already, the Phantom Castle is closed. Um, I don't know what to say about that, but it's closed. Uh, something that's really, really awesome that we got going on right now, though, and something that you're really, really going to want to see, is we have... Uh, one of four five star characters guaranteed premium multi summon. So you're either guaranteed you're guaranteed to get one of these cards, one of these characters. Naruto Uzumaki five star, Sasuke Uchiha five star, uh, Kakashi Hatake five star, uh, Gara five star. So we're guaranteed to get one of those four. I personally would love to get Gara or Kakashi. That that would be one of my choices. Uh, but it is a 50 stone or 50 pearl multi summon. So if you do that, let me know down in the comment section below what you got. Right now I only got 21 stones, so I'm gonna have to grind a little bit more to get uh, to get some more stones. But that's okay. That multi summon will be coming up for you guys uh, shortly. Uh, we also have some new cool stuff in the emergency mission. So we have training the next generation trials. We have the hidden leaf secret ultimate taijutsu. And we have behind the ice mask. And then obviously, you know, we've got the getting rich quick um, thing. Event, if it's still up by the time this video goes live. Uh, which is really cool. Uh, every time this thing comes up, you want to get it. I mean, I leveled up. I maxed out two, two of my characters, I think, and I had one million Ryu. And uh, yeah, I've got. I spent half of that. But anyway, this is the point of the video. So we have these three new trainings or these three new events. Right now, what we're going to do is training the next generation trials. Go to it. There we go. It's up for 11 more days at the time of this video. 25 stamina. You can only do it solo, and there are no continues. So if you get knocked out, you get knocked out, and there's not a lot that you can do about it. Uh, let's see. I am going to take this level 99 Gata. Throw him on my team. Let's make sure this is the right team that I want. And it is. Now this is a very, very hard mission. I haven't even tried it on A rank yet just because it's that fucking hard. And I would tell you guys what, even though I know that this is solely, you can only do this as a solo mission. But that doesn't really bother me. Uh, these strike events or these events like this, I don't know, they just can kind of pointless to do them um, on multiplayer. I mean, yeah, you know, it, it can be easier. If you're having difficulty beating it, it can be easier. But if you're not having difficulty with it, then you ought to do it just solo because I know a lot of these events have um, special uh, requirements or rewards like. Uh, like only having uh, one attribute throughout your entire team and that's hard to pull off if you have three other players using whatever team that they want you can't pick and choose what their characters that they're going to use are you just have to sort through and not let them into your lobby until alright we're back sorry guys I got a very very important phone call from my wife she wanted to know if I wanted something pumpkin from the grocery store because it's fucking September. But anyway, I don't remember what I was saying. So let's just get back in the nitty gritty of this mission. This is definitely not a mission that I would put on auto. <laughs> Unless you've got uh, six, six stars. I would not put it on auto. And I would definitely take at least one healer if you can. If you can, I don't really think that it's... 
I don't think that it's a necessity to take a healer as long as the rest of your team can keep up and it's a very good team. But, uh, I do think that taking a healer would be a smart move. Water shot bomb jutsu. Try to get that bitch taken out as quickly as possible. The goal of this right now is to not use Gata's uh, secret jutsu. I want to use that on the final boss, uh, but I also kind of want this to take long enough to build up that secret jutsu uh, so that I can use that as soon as that boss comes. But I also don't want to die, so, you know, keep that in mind, too. Can I, nope, can I get, nope, damn. So when I could get one of those health jars, or health elixirs, or whatever the fuck they are, and attack at the same time. Now you keep seeing, if you've noticed, uh, and if you haven't, rewind the video a little bit. When I beat some of these enemies, I'm getting the silver uh, ticket type deals. Uh, that is uh, telling me that I've got super rare items. And we're going to see what those are here very shortly. I'll show you guys once we beat them. You'll see, or once we beat the mission, you'll see that I believe you get... Uh, four, the, the first time I did this, I've actually only done this mission once, I think, uh, but I got four. I got four uh, super rare cards. Oh, come on. Just die. There we go. Here's the boss. I don't. Here's this nice little super rare jutsu, or this uh, secret jutsu. Sun burial. That's such a badass move. I tell you what, though. He's got a lot of health right now. A lot of health. Uh, you'll see. Look at that. 2,000. It just barely took a little chunk out of him. So we're going to get that health elixir. Whack him with a sharp bomb. Now, fortunately, he doesn't do a whole, whole lot of damage uh, himself. Damn, I was hoping I could get that. I had to attack him at the same time. Or heal at the same time, I mean. Holy fuck stick! That did a lot. Yeah, we're gonna go over here and heal up. 
up a little bit just in case just in case hopefully my Jiraiya should take him out with his super next or er, his sorry super I keep thinking of Dokkan his uh, ninjutsu in the next match the next round turn whatever okay this should take him out boom there's another super rare Oh, I only got three this time. Very rare. That's what they are. Very rare, not super rare. Sorry, my bad. Limit Break Crystals. Now, I don't know everything about Limit Break Crystals yet. Give me a minute and I'll figure it out. Uh, but I do know that they, uh, they do help out. You do want to get those. You do want to add those with your... Uh, your team, your characters, you do want to do that. And we'll go right here. Look at notice. Um, the Leafs heads of devil. Oh shit! Sorry. The Leafs hand the leap. Leafs handsome devil. Rock Lee is coming up pretty soon. Also, so keep that in mind. Shut up. Okay. All new limit break your characters. Thank you for playing Naruto Joy Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing. We have added a few features to the game, or added a new feature to the game, limit break. Limit break explanation. Here we go. By using limit break materials, characters, crystals, and attribute crystals, scrolls, and Ryu, you can further raise the max level of certain characters. A character's rarity cannot be increased via limit breaks. Current list of characters you can limit break. Naruto Zumaki, uh, number one Maverick, Sasuke Uchiha, lone survivor, Kakashi Hatake, copier of 1000 techniques, uh, Gara Sand Defense, Haku the Ice Masks Blades, Zabuza, uh, the Demon Returns, and Kakashi Hatake, and then Rock Lee Never Give Up, which is coming out in the next event. Will also you'll also be able to limit break him. Uh, changes in scrolls with the introduction of limit break. Four star awakening scrolls will be added to the game. Scrolls can now be awakened by combi by combining scrolls of the same rarity and type. Uh, awakening procedures. Or produces, sorry, a higher rarity, for example, combined uh, five three star scrolls into an awakening to produce a four star scroll. Uh, be sure to have plenty of scrolls to take advantage of Limit Break, and thank you once again for playing Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing. So, we're going to try this out really quick. Uh, let's see, we'll go to Teams, Limit Break. We will go to, oh, what? That's not the five star Zabuza that we're talking about? Oh, you're shitting me. Son of a bitch. Well, let me see, see if there's anything in my present box. No. Well, I guess we ain't finding out jack shit. So I'll tell you what. If you have any characters that you can limit break, uh, not a Trish Putin, Ultimate Ninja Blazing, let me know that down in the comment section below. Let me know how awesome they are for your team. And uh, believe me, once I do this 50, uh, 50 Pro Multi Summon, that's a guaranteed one of these five stars that lets me limit break them, I will be doing a video about that and explaining it a little bit more in depth. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And as always, if you're new to the channel, Make sure you like the video, make sure you comment down below, and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you really feel generous, hit that little notification button so you can be notified as soon as my videos go live. But that's it for this video, guys, uh, and I will see you all in the next one. This is Superman Ryan signing off.